Hi Five Clubbers, how are you today? I wanted to read a story today. It's one of my favorites and it's called, What Do You Do With a Chance? I like reading this story when I'm getting ready to do something new, something I haven't done before. And some of you are getting ready to go to kindergarten. That's a new thing and it can kind of seem scary. And I want you to think about and listen to what this little boy did when he was given the chance to do something that seemed scary. My son Byron was given this book by his first grade teacher when he was getting ready to move to a new school. What do you do with a chance? Written by Kobe Yamada. Illustrated by May Benson. One day, I got a chance. It just seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me, as if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance, I wondered. It fluttered around me. It brushed up against me. It circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure, and I pulled back. And so, the chance flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. That's a big word, five clubbers, the word courage. It means to do something even though you're really scared. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. I went to reach for it, but I just missed it and fell. I was so embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So, after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. Hmm. That's one way to handle being scared to do something new is just to ignore it. And the more I ignored them, the less they came around. Until one day, I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all gone and disappeared. I started to worry, what if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid and I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. Have any of you ever felt like him? Felt scared to take a chance, but yet still really kind of wanting to take a chance? Then I thought, maybe I don't have to be brave at the t all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then, one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shining far off in the distance. Is it possible, I hoped? Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard as and fast as I could toward it. I don't know how to explain it, but the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It 
It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. But this time, I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and grabbed it. I held onto it with all my might. It felt so good to soar, to fly, to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out. And I don't want to miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So, what do you do with a chance? You take it because it just might be the start of something incredible. The end. Just like the little boy in the story, when you're faced with something new or something that you're unsure of, it can be really scary to take that first step, but all you have to do is take that first step because chances and new things can lead to some really amazing learning and some really amazing fun. Teacher Janelle misses you and looks forward to seeing you again on video soon. Bye-bye.